Hi, I'm Dan from BuildExact. I'm going to be going through how to get a price list into your BuildExact software and a couple of tips to make it a little easier. First of all, I'm going to explore and FAQs because I want to point out one of the articles, specifically this one, that we have on loading price lists. And tip if you're looking for this yourself, searching for Excel in our help article section will be a really good thing to do because it'll bring up all the articles to do with loading items from Excel. The reason this article is a good one is it has a template of what the price list needs to look like. So it can give you an idea of, of the formatting that we need to, to use. And a side note is we actually see quite a number of people send this to suppliers uh, when they're saying, hey, can you provide me a list of prices? This is neat, what it needs to, needs to look like. A few other things, there's a list of tips in here which are also just common mistakes. Um, so things like having formulas or photos or cells that are way too long or item codes where they're duplicates, uh, all of those things and a few others will, will uh, put a bit of a spanner in your loading process. I'm gonna jump across now to the price list I wanna load, which is this one, and make a quick mention to the formatting um, that I've got here. So. My list is set up where one column equals one thing, and that's basically how we need to have it. I'm loading quite a bit of information in here, and there's about 500 items, um, though you can load a fair bit more than that if you need to. Bare minimum we need when loading it is we need to know what the item is called, how it's measured, and what the price is without tax. Everything else is kind of a bonus. However, I'll make a special mention to the item codes. Uh, if you're getting those from suppliers, um, this is a, a really useful one, particularly if you're gonna be updating price lists a lot, because what this allows us as BuildExact to do is match items with items based on a unique code that should really never change. Uh, and this just helps us identify an item really, really specifically. When I bring this list in, you'll notice I will ignore some columns and, and, uh, and choose what each column actually means for build exact when I load it. I'm gonna close it now because if I leave it open, I'll get a message saying, hey, you've gotta go close your price list. So I close that and I'm going back to the price list section of build exact and basically just saying, add a new one. I'll give it a name, I'll call it just demo supplier and you can choose an existing supplier or enter a new one, which I'm gonna do, demo supplier. They are a supplier, and obviously I you know, generally spend a bit more time going through getting information about this person, uh, but for the sake of this, just this demonstration, I'll skip over this part. When you are doing this, you can also create a price list where you didn't have an Excel list to begin with and it'll just create a blank list and you can add things manually. However, for this example, we're going through the one where you do have an Excel file to load. So I'm gonna grab this one. When I go okay, it will start the ball rolling and start to guide me through it. It's also got a link back to that FAQ I was just talking about. And I'm gonna say, yep, start import. It'll say, great, go find the file, which I'll do now. And oh, that was lucky, there it is. It'll crunch it together, load it in, and ask me to choose which tab of the worksheet I wanna use. Um, in my case, there was only one tab, so it's only showing that. But uh, there are times when you'll have you know, 10 tabs and it wants to know which one to use. Now, as I go through, all I'm really doing is saying this, which is an example of the item code and the heading code, which kind of gives it away, uh, that equals one of the things that BuildExact understands. And if I'm flicking through this list, you'll notice there's quite a heap of stuff in here. Uh, from doing this load process quite a lot, I've noticed that pretty much the first six, seven things are what I use most of the time. And everything else uh, will get, you know, it can get used, from time to time, but for most price lists, I'm finding most of the items are just at the top of the list. So code equals supplier code, the item names equals description, and 
the more you use this, you'll notice it gets pretty smart um, because behind the scenes, it's actually working on these names and matching them so it knows for next time. So the more price lists you actually load in, the more you'll notice it just guesses it for you and gets it correct. So price equals unit cost, but I could change that if I needed. And that, however, it's spot on now. Uh, group is category, subgroup is subcategory. And it's even clever enough to know that last time I loaded a list, I didn't use my customer reference number. Um, I actually hit ignore, which is why it goes straight to ignore that column. So as mentioned, you'll notice it gets smarter and smarter each list you load. I'm gonna go review, which will give me a preview of it. And generally I would just go continue, but I will point out you can filter to just rows with problems only. And if there's nothing here, that's, that's a good thing. I'll go continue. It'll say, are you sure you're ready to submit? And yes, I am. And a change we've made recently is these now happen in the background. So you can go on about your day doing whatever you want to do. Uh, go back to an estimate if you like, or what have you. And the price list will just crunch away behind the scenes. So it's, it's done it now. If I go into my list and notice that it's just the list like this, a lot of the times it will categorize it for you. Um, but if it's not doing that, just know that you can choose to set categories here, which makes use of all those descriptions and subdescriptions I brought in. That's about it. If you ever get stumped on a price list or come across a really curly one, let us know. And uh, we are happy to give you a bit of a tip and a hand about, uh, about that list. Thanks very much. Cheers. Cheers.